This is day two of us exploring Athens, Greece, like no one has ever explored. And we are starting off with this amazing journey at the Museum of Acropolis. If you want a full itinerary to have the best day ever, click the first link in the description and I'll go ahead and send you this amazing itinerary. Let's get into it. As you guys can see, right next to me, we have one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen. Extremely gorgeous ruins and they are just mesmerizing. It's mesmerizing to see how much ancient history there is around here. I mean, and the best part of this all is that this is right next to the Acropolis. You can kind of see it peaking a little bit, but uh, as you guys can see, the amazing ancient walls and this, so apparently this ruin used to be a part of the Acropolis, but they were able to modernize and create this into a museum, turn it into a revenue generating thing, uh, along with the Acropolis. So whenever you come over here, you're gonna have to pay a ticket for the museum, along with a ticket for the Acropolis. The one good thing about this entire thing is that there is a combined ticket for both the Acropolis and the museum itself. So if you are interested in visiting both, you are able to get a ticket that gives you access to both the Acropolis itself and this amazing museum. And uh, getting getting access to the, the ruins, actually seeing the ruins like this, very, very fantastic. I mean, it's a life transforming experience that we've got going on right here. And wow, what a great first stop, Acropolis Museum. Let's go what the next stop is all about. It's crazy to think how much history is here in Athens. I mean, it's from the 13th century, 510 BC. That's insane. And we have the opportunity to walk among it and show it to you guys. We've actually just made it to our next stop. And Sam, where are we? Well, we are at Diantio Agripatio. This is one of the most iconic neighborhoods right here in Athens, Greece. This is a neighborhood where we have a lot, of, a lot of very important things in Greece located, including the museum that we just passed through and the infamous Ark. And among the iconic ruins that we have right here on this amazing street, we have the Acropolis, the most infamous of the ruins right here in Athens, right behind me. I mean, we were there yesterday, we had a fantastic time, and we are basically just checking out from a distance today, and wow, it looks amazing. I mean, Athens is a magical city, and we are having a great time. We are ready for our next stop to see what that is all about. Let's see what's that. So yesterday, we actually realized we were walking on the back side of the Acropolis, and today we're walking on a different side, and we're actually passing by the theater, the infamous theater of Athens. So it's just around this town and let's go to our next stop. Hey, remember from history class when you found out that Socrates was imprisoned? I always wondered, honestly, in history class, I always thought, you know, a lot of that stuff was fake. But after coming to our third stop, <laughs> after coming to a third stop right here, at the prison of Socrates, the entire viewpoint that I had has changed drastically. We are at the prison of Socrates and as you guys can see this is one of the most epic views I've ever seen we are able to able to get a very amazing view of the entire Acropolis and uh, yeah I remember Socrates was actually in prison for uh, you know uh, siding with uh, the rebels just having a different viewpoint and uh, this is basically you know where he was in prison so it's, it's actually a funny thing uh, Nakaya was actually just saying she was like oh he was probably in prison at this specific area so he could see what he was missing out on on a daily basis. That was I thought that, that was a, that, that was quite an impressive quote right there. So as you guys can see, epic views right here. And wow, prison of Socrates. Honestly, if I'm ever imprisoned, a view like this. Honestly, Socrates had had it good. He had it good. So yeah, great job right here, Socrates. Yeah, we uh, gr honestly imprisonment can't be that bad when you have a view like that in the back, right? <laughs> All right, let's hop on to the next spot. So when we were hanging out at the prison of Socrates, we we're like, okay, where exactly was this guy in prison? Like, what's going on? And uh, our maps actually took us to the like, the, little, the little terrace area. We ended up realizing that was basically his like morning walk uh, while he was in jail. And I was like, okay, he's got to be like kept somewhere else because it's so easy to uh, run away from prison if that was his prison that's exactly why we came down the hill and uh we're seeing right here all this entire thing is where socrates was actually well kept and uh it's it's literally underneath the little area that we were at so we're basically at the top where you know he had his morning walk and everything you can still see an amazing view of the acropolis but this yeah this this seems a a little the kind of kind of uh still still a pretty comfy prison that we've got going on right there and uh but yeah apparently he he, did, he still managed to escape so uh yeah Go uh, props to uh, Socrates for doing that. And as you guys, uh, let's get a closer look and how how this is. So I see this is like number one. Why did I, so? What I'm wondering is that what? Oh, oh wow! So this is like a cave 
with like, I'm assuming all three, oh my God. Oh my God, there's like, a, oh, wow. So all these, all three of these actually connect. And uh, I have no idea what, what goes on in there. So Socrates was living the life of a bear. And uh, <laughs> I'm sure he was having a great time in here, you know. He was mentally stimulated, going from cave to cave to cave to cave. And of course, with a view of the Acropolis, can't beat that. All right, let's finally go over to our next stop. Let's do it. And just like that, guys, we have made it to our fifth stop. They call it the Phnix. P-N-Y-X. Now, I don't even know how to pronounce that, but long story short, this is an area where uh, the, 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 the democracy was actually basically found. Uh, as you guys can see, I mean, it's basically saying that it's just a monumental site where a lot of the equal rights uh, were proposed within this era. And uh, I mean, honestly, coming right here and feeling the democratic side of things makes me feel powerful. It makes me feel like us as humanity have come way too far and uh, we gotta keep going. We gotta keep going in order to ensure that humanity in general is just, it just keeps getting better and better. And I feel like we have advanced itself as a society and provided uh, some great like lifestyles to uh, a, a huge amount of population, a huge amount of human population. And all that started at the Phnix or like Finks all right here. I mean, as you guys can see, this was, this used to be like a giant like hall area where I'm, I'm assuming there were like rallies, like kind of like a theater. And as you guys can see, <laughs> all the way over there, we get a beautiful view off uh, of the city itself, along with the Acropolis right in the back. I mean, <laughs> right. I mean, how, how, how could you not have the Acropolis in the back, especially if you're in Greece? So long story short, amazing vibes around here. And let's go democracy. And let's, let's try to see, let's try to see what the next stop is all about. Let's do it. And we've made it to our next destination, the Philippopis Monument. Oh yes, baby, we are on the Philippopis Hill and we are having such a great time because we are looking at one of the most iconic places on the Philippopau Hill. So long story short, apparently this is a, a burial, so we have to be a little respectful here. This is a burial of the poet Maceus. Uh, I'm not exactly sure about the poet, but like apparently he was a, he's a great poet back in the day where he lived here uh, and, and, and taught like poetry out here as well so this is a burial so you know paying respects to uh, the amazing poet but the, the, the crazy part here is that as you guys can see we can see the amazing Acropolis from right here along with amazing views of the entire city and right behind it you can also kind of see uh, a church that we are actually uh, about to go into it's like a white church on top of the hill and yeah that's uh, you know that's that's a quick hint for you guys that's gonna be our next stop well, or one of them you know maybe, maybe I might I might switch things up a little bit but as you guys can see uh, this is, it, it, I mean, so it's a very iconic thing that we are uh, standing in front of right now. And uh, it, it's basically, uh, this is chiseled bedrock. This is the type of rock that they call it. And of course the monuments on top. I'm not exactly sure where the, the burial is underneath or like around here somewhere, but very iconic stuff going on right here. Wow, what a great day it is. Let's hop over onto the next stop. And just like that, guys, we have made it to the Theater of Dionysus. So I remember in day one of the itinerary, we went in the Acropolis. We saw one of the most amazing theaters right here in Athens, Greece. Well, it was called the Theater, theater of Dionysus, and we are basically seeing the outside of it. The best part of this all is that this theater is still running. I mean, there's probably plays going on in there. So it's also a great uh, mixture of modernism versus uh, the, the ancient culture and this is what Greece is all about I feel like the a huge amount of the, the Greek economy is actually built on a uh, on, on the, the ruins and the history itself and this is a this this is a great monument for us to and a, and a great example for us to see as well because the theater of Dionysus is still running you're actually able to go watch a play which is gonna be modern I mean which is gonna have modern measure, measures like something like this I mean there's gonna be speakers there's gonna be lights but it is going to be within the ruins I mean theater of Dionysus, what a great place this is, and I'm so glad we're checking out this from the outside and actually observing the, the mixture between modernism and the ancient culture, and wow, what a beautiful place this is in Greece, and uh, oh, not, not really Greece, actually, we're in Athens, Greece, that's, that's what I was going to say, oh my god, this heat is getting to me, guys. All right, let's hop over onto the next spot, let's do it. And just like that, guys, we have made it to our next stop. As you guys can see right behind me is the Arch of Hadrian, but the crazy part here is that the Arch of Hadrian is not the actual stop. The actual stop is right in front of Arch of Hadrian. As you guys can see, we have the amazingly gorgeous view of 
the Apollo, the, the, the Tower of Olympus Apollo. And, uh, and on the left hand side, we have the Tower of Olympus Zeus. So uh, apparently they're in the rebuilding process right now. But I mean, they still look pretty historic. It uh, looks like they were, you know, collapsing. So the government realized that, you know, they had to, they had to put in some work. <laughs> that's exactly what we're seeing right behind us. I mean, everything looks fantastic. And the history here is just, I mean, it's, it's, it's extremely gorgeous. And uh, it just kind of makes you feel a certain type of way. You're like, oh my God, things that I've heard about all these things in the history books, they're actually true. They're not false. I mean, so it, it's, 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 it's a great feeling for us to actually observe things like that. Have a great time right here in Athens, Greece. Let's go over to our last spot, guys. And just want to let you know, this last spot is the most special spot I have been peeping the entire journey, the entire journey of Athens. I'm like, okay, I, I need to go to this spot. That's exactly where we're gonna going next. And uh, I'm really excited to take you guys there. So let's go with that's about. Elevated surfaces, love them or hate them. They have a way of just turning any view into the most gorgeous thing that you have ever seen. When we landed in Athens, Greece, I actually peeped one of the most beautiful views that was extremely elevated. It's probably, you know, the, the, the most elevated place right here in Athens, Greece. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna climb that in order to get one of the best views you can ever get. And honestly, the thing is that this place is not very well advertised in all the itineraries. No one ever is going to say that you have to come to this place. And this place, its name is Mount Libicatus. And you come here after climbing a, a, a lot of stairs. So it's a, a very intense, basically a hike. When you, but when you come up, you see one of the most gorgeous views you probably have ever seen in your entire life. And that's exactly what I'm seeing right here, not right now. As you guys can see, 360 views of the entire city. But my favorite part is not just the views of the city. It is the views of the Acropolis from here, the most infamous place right here in Athens, Greece. As you guys can see, literally right there, it looks like a speck of dust, just because we are so high up and we're getting such a higher view that it just, it all just combines into the Acropolis and Acropolis. I mean, it's a humongous thing. And it, 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 it kind of, it feels small from here. And this view is, it's, it's nothing but majestic. And, but it's funny, when I went to the Acropolis, I was like, I peeped at this specific white church that is right and uh, right behind me now. Uh, and I was like, okay, this little church, this got to be in a fantastic view from here. And they call it my, my, Mount Libicatus. And uh, yeah, I, as you guys can see, I'm probably getting one of the most gorgeous views I have ever received. And uh, I've actually not really seen a lot of people document this place or even advertise to hike up here. Number one, because, you know, it's it's a little bit uh, on, the, on, on the tougher end uh, when it comes to hiking. There's no direct bus line. You still have to, you know, climb a mountain. But if you are able to do that, the views are always worth it. All right, guys, I'm so glad I got to take you guys along and explore Mount Libicatus and this white church right behind us together. And wow, I'm gonna go ahead and explore this a little bit more, have a little bit more chill time, a little bit more me time, and explore more views of the city. I mean, every single angle that I go to, city of Athens, Greece, just looks better and better. Wow, what a day it's been. And just like that, guys, we are concluding a day two of exploring Athens, Greece like no one has ever explored Athens Greece and honestly all I have to say is that this spot Mount Lip Lipigetus one of my favorite iconic spots I feel like you have to end your day over here the the one caveat is that the Sun you know it's, it sets on that side so you might not get the best views on the on the sunset of uh, uh, the Acropolis but you will still get the best views of you know the amazing mountains amazing city so yeah I just wanted to you know just just give you a little hint on that but long story short I mean we are just I, I really don't want to leave because it's such a it's, it's such a beautiful place right here I mean, I'm literally getting 360 views I mean right behind this church there's more views oh it's also funny there's a restaurant right on top they call it sky bar so it's just a, uh, I, I, I thought it was a funny fact uh, and wow I mean honestly I just I, I really can't get enough of this I really feel like I need to go there one more time and get a video closer to uh, the Acropolis because it's just honestly the, the, the camera is not really doing it justice and as you guys can see I mean wow 
I'm giving you guys a live reaction on how I'm feeling, and all I can say is that I am feeling fantastic. I feel like I'm the king of the world. And uh, yeah, if I was in the Titanic right now, it would be that one scene where, you know, uh, Jack and Rose are just like, like that. I'm the king of the world. All right, guys. I mean, what a great itinerary this was. And I mean, we. You, I'm so glad we're ending it right here at Mount Libigettis. All the way. I mean, we're, we're by exploring it all. I'm so glad you guys, you know, joined us. So next time when you're coming to Athens, Greece, use these two days itinerary. Also, if you missed the day one, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and link the the first one in bio, so you're you're able to watch it. But long story short, you gotta end day two right here because this is how you conclude an amazing day in Athens, Greece. What a great trip this was. Thank you so much for you guys for tagging along, and we are about to have an amazing day. I love you guys.